This video shows you how to install and use this WebThinker QWQ model which is quite good for autonomously searching and exploring web pages. You can also use it for draft research reports within their thinking process. This model provides deep research capabilities and we will also check it out. I am Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. This WebThinker QWQ is part of WebThinker series that enables these large reasoning models to autonomously search, explore web pages and also draft any sort of research reports. If you really want to take full advantage of this model, they also have shared a full framework on their GitHub repo and I will drop the link to it in video's description where they not only use this WebThinker model but also an auxiliary model to evaluate and generate the reporting but that would require a multi gpu cluster so for the purpose of this video we are going to stick with this web thinker to see how it performs especially when it comes to exploring the deep research topics one of the key features of this model is that it maintains a reasoning coherence while making sure that it does the research properly you can also use it for rag purposes and you can integrate it with real-time knowledge with the help of agentic software or any mcp server it uses iterative online dpo training with preference pairs constructed from reasoning trajectories to optimize end-to-end -end performance so let's get it installed and we will see how it works the tool which I'm going to use for serving this model is VLLM with text generation web UI. If you don't know what VLLM is, just go to my channel and search for uh, VLLM and you should be able to find a lot of videos. So I'm not going to repeat the whole VLLM and text generation web UI installation in this video. I already have installed, but if you don't know how to install, just search it and maybe watch this second video or there are heaps of other videos just select whatever you feel like and you should be able to get it installed fairly quickly i also want to thank mass compute for sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you're looking to rent a gpu on very affordable prices you can find the link to their website in videos description i'm going to use this ubuntu system and as this is a big 32 billion parameter model so i'm using this nvidia h100 with 80 gp of vram as I said, I already have this VLLM and text generation web UI installed. So I'm just going to download the model and the text generation web UI provides this download script. All I'm doing, I'm providing it the repo name of the model. And as soon as I have run it, you can see that it is downloading it. The, there are 14 shards of the model. The model is quite big. So it is going to take a bit of a time while that does that. Let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGentBot. iGentBot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and I will drop the link to the website in video's description. And the model is downloaded. Let's now serve it on our local system. And the model is now being loaded onto our GPU and then we will access it in the browser. And now the model is uh, downloaded. Let's load it into our GUI. Click on load here. You can see that it already has selected it. Shouldn't take too long. And the model is successfully loaded. Now let's chat with it. So I'm just going to make the screen a bit bigger and now let me ask it the first question so this first question is around the deep web exploration so i'm asking it to about recent research claims that a new class of antibiotics called something could combat multi-drug resistant bacteria conduct a literature review using up-to-date scientific articles and summarize the current state so it is again uh, understanding it which is quite good in a typical chain of thought manner and remember this is fine-tuned of the actual qwq which is going with thinking model which we already have covered on the channel and that was one of the earliest chain of thought models and you see uh, it is immediately recognizing that its knowledge is current as of july 2024 and it is using it to to the deep web research now 
as i mentioned earlier you can integrate it with any mcp tool or any web search and it is going to utilize that in order to expand that research to the latest data but even if you look at this one this looks quite good it is exploring different angles it is just uh going very very grounded confining its scope to what we are asking yet going very deep into its own data set you see that this is where it is talking about breakthroughs this is a literature review very nice i think it says i already i think i have enough that's good so it is not a very very prolonged um you know useless thinking it is quite nuanced and targeted which is quite good while it does that let's also check the vram consumption there you go so it is consuming this close to 64 gig of vram which is a standard for i believe for 32 billion parameter models and then it is also talking about ongoing clinical trials and then finally it has given us some future direction with a very quick summary another area where these thinking models are quite i would say performant are where you need to do some autonomous think search and draft and you can see that i am asking it that imagine you are writing research uh, you are writing a research report on the long term environment impact of microplastic in marine ecosystem begin with a summary of current scientific consensus and then it is going to talk about it and i already have given it the time frame of its uh, own cut off trading data date so that should be quite grounded it is again exploring all the angles it is self reflecting it is checking its own responses searching so this is something which is quite fine tuned in this one that it is very very geared towards searching its own scientific literature so i will let it run for a minute or so and again if you go through this answer it has given us a very very well crafted answer and it seems that it also maintains the whole structure of the answer as you can see okay next up let's see how it performs the trajectory when it comes to reinforcement learning so in this one i'm asking it that a policy analyst asks you what are the top five most effective government interventions for reducing childhood obesity based on real world data search for and evaluate reputable data sets and recent policy reviews so it is a different angle from the trajectory side of things and i'm just checking how it does the reasoning in this specific domain and you can see it already is going step by step really really performing a very profound sort of research and yet another very quality answer with the same format as you can see i'm just scrolling through to show you the final answer here where it has done wonderfully well and it's not hallucinating or just printing gibberish it is very well focused answer finally let's see how it does with the open ended reasoning sort of questions which are quite hard for even reasoning models so you see i'm asking it that there is an ongoing debate about the health risks of ultra processed foods collect and synthesize information from both recent meta analysis and recent opposing viewpoints present an objective report highlighting areas of consensus and contention and conclude with your own evidence based assessment so you see it is again understanding what i'm asking again step by step going through what should be the answer and then checking its own data set reasoning about it self reflecting and then doing the research instead of just simply printing out the answer so it is drafting it step by step and instruction following is also very high quality you see it is a report it is generating with proper format and these are the findings and opposing view points as i asked and all of this data is very focused on the topic in hand it's not really hallucinating it is not just printing gibberish which is i believe one of the salient feature of this model so imagine integrating it with some real time data and i think this could be a real good choice for deep web exploration so that's it i hope uh, you enjoyed it i will drop the link to it in video's description 
if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching